Hey everyone, if you are ready to decorate with red, white, and blue, then this is gonna be your video. I am taking some thrift flips that I found along the way and we are going to turn them into some patriotic decor. The season is upon us, y'all. We got the end of May and then we got July headed right after us. So let's go ahead and get crafting. We need to come back out to my stash because there is some, oh, it's right here, sweet. But I know I have this, oh no. Flies. Flies are coming, you guys. This one, and then I know I have. See, you guys, when we talk about like crafters hoarding, we know where our stuff is. We might have a lot of it, but let me tell you, I could tell you where everything is. So, look how cute that is. They're different, but these, these two I was looking for. So, I'm excited about that. And you know what? I just got inspired with this too. So let's go back into the craft room. We're gonna start off right away with Hay Sailor. So I told you guys in the previous video, I'm gonna be using Hay Sailor and Marquee as well as vintage linen in a lot of my Americana, red, white, and blue videos. This should all be back in stock as of tonight. I am going to paint the front, the back, and the sides. I don't do the inside or the handles because I am planning on distressing this down. So some of that creamy color is gonna pop back through. So I only do one coat of the blue. Then I'm gonna go in with Marquee on the bigger one and we are going to paint that up again, leaving the inside and the handles in that beautiful cream color. Um, I surprisingly only had to do one coat of this. I knew since I was just dressing it down that if it was a little streaky, it was no big deal. So now I'm going to take my baby wipe. You could also do a wet paper towel or microfiber cloth. And I'm going to distress this back so that we can see those beautiful details pop once again. And I'm going to do the same thing on the red. Now, the inside of this heart like was a little difficult so i ended up just going over the the big you'll see right here and i ended up just distressing the whole thing because trying to do this it looked so weird so i ended up just distressing it now i'm going to take big top and i'm going to clear both pieces with this i wanted to darken up that color again so that's why i chose not to go with clear wax and i'm going to do this with the hay sailor and this one and Big Top is like a polyacrylic, okay? After I'm done with that, y'all know I'm extra and I could not just leave these. And I knew I was adding fabric to them that had a little bit of gold speckle on it. So I'm taking my gold gilded wax and I'm putting the lightest amount on both of them. Now I'm taking this strips of fabric and all you do is make several loops and you want to leave some tassels hanging and we're going to grab a scrap of fabric and then we're just going to tie it off in the middle. Just double knot it, very easy, it looks rustic, I love it. And I needed to use this stuff up. Now I'm taking the tight bond, quick and thick. I didn't know this was gonna work, but it did. And look at how these turned out. I really love them. I love that the big top brightened them up. Leave me a heart down in the comments if you like these as well. They're gonna look beautiful with lamb's ear and some baby breaths in them or even staged just like they are now in a bookshelf or on a countertop. I love the rustic element of the messy bows. You can see the little bit of gold flake in the fabric. These turned out really cute. I wanted to invite everybody to participate in Try It Tuesday, whether you're a crafter or you have a new channel. I host it every last Tuesday of the month and you do three or four DIYs that are inspired by other people and make sure to give them credit in your description box. Now, I found this at Savers, it was like $4.99, but I knew there was gonna be a vision for this. So I start with the marquee on the bottom and it was perfectly numbered. I was able to do every other and it fit and wasn't all wonky. So I do do two coats of the red down on the bottom. I was inspired by a piece I actually saw at the flea market a couple weekends back. And when I saw this, I knew exactly what I needed to do with it. So I'm gonna do every other. 
Then for this part, I am going to go in with Hey Sailor. Now, if you're freehanding and you're not using tape, the easiest way of getting clean lines is just pushing a flat synthetic brush into your creases. So you can see I'm pushing it down into the crease and then pulling it back. And this is gonna give me pretty clean lines. Now we're taking that pennies from heaven. You guys saw me use this in the last video and I wanted to give it a little bit of a copper look somewhere in here. I told you copper and this red, white, and blue looks gorgeous. So I did two coats of this color. This is a liquid patina. So it is going to be a little sheer. So to get exactly the color I want, I needed to put two coats. Now I'm going to take that reusable stencil. I will put this SVG file um, in the members only link and you guys could use it as you wish. So I'm going to do some little stars, some medium sized stars, and I'm just going to put this all the way around. I will say I am using the JRV stencil brush that I got from Brie and I don't know why I waited so long to use it, but this brush is legit. I really, really like using it. It's very blunt, is blunt the word at the end? And, um, stiff. I don't know. I like it. It worked well. All right. So I clear the entire piece with big top, but then I shared this picture on the membership group and we came to the consensus that the top needed to be painted. So we end up painting it with marquee. We, <laughs> and I do two coats of it and then I clear it with big top once again. And I want to know your guys' opinion because also in the membership group, I initially wanted to screw, put a hole in the top of it to put a American flag in there. Some people said it needed more than one. Some people said to leave it as it is. So I couldn't commit and I left it as is. So comment with a flag if you think I should have put a hole in the top for the flag. Let me know your thoughts because I couldn't decide I still can't. So most of you guys know that I have been vibing patriotic DIYs. I have been going on Pinterest like crazy and I've been getting filled with so much inspiration that I cannot wait to share with you guys. So I hope the patriotic DIYs are in your wheelhouse is something that you do around the house. And if it's not, then just use the techniques I'm doing and do it with other colors. Remember, this is just like the bones of it and you can do what you want with it. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please make sure to visit my links down in the description box. All of my paints should be restocked by now. So head to the website, unicorndustdesigns.com and place your order today. And you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, then make sure to like and make sure to comment. All right, you guys, let's get back into it. Last DIY is very easy. I think this is a donkey, but I'm not sure. I got it at Savers, oh, shocker, and I am going to wipe this down. Now, I thought this was going to be a very easy flip, but can I just tell you this took me 40 minutes to paint, okay? We're taking Hey Sailor, and I am going to have to do two coats of this because <laughs> trying to get in between this donkey's legs and tail, it ended up leaving some streaks so the second coat was a little easier than the first coat let me tell you this is how our donkey looks dried down which is absolutely beautiful but to make it match the rest of my decor i wanted to clear coat it with the big top and i've been getting in the habit of just putting a little bit of it in the lid of there and then just wiping the lid off when i'm done so just a little hack if you guys don't want to get out a bowl every time you use it but you can see it's going to give it kind of like a satin sheen and then we are going to go in with our white wax i'm going to mainly focus that white wax on the detailed part of the donkey and then as i wipe it back it's going to show all of those beautiful details and then we'll kind of buff it into the rest of the donkey so i wanted the highlight of the white to be on those details so I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm wiping back the details first and then the remnants of that white wax I'm buffing into the rest of the donkey to create a cohesive look. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well. There are some spots like the inside of the ears I decided not to wax just so they kind of look a little bit more defined. 
but I loved how this turned out. It's an easy way of taking an older item or maybe something unique that you see at the thrift store and then bringing it to life and using it in your decor. This came out so cute. I love it with these books and that stoneware picture. It is gorgeous and I gave it new life. It was dirty and dingy and now it looks like a part of some Americana decor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it got you inspired to start creating red, white, and blue decor, Americana decor, whatever floats your boat. I will be back here on Saturday, y'all, and I hope you have a good one. What is going to make you want to watch this in the first eight seconds? My beautiful personality? <sighs> okay, you guys. No. Mm -mm.